This is Twit. Clearview.ai. It's a Peter Thiel company. Sells Uh-oh. face recognition. Yeah, right there, right? That's all I have to say. It sells face recognition data to a lot of people, including law enforcement. And it's a big story because they've been scraping data. For, in fact, YouTube just said, knock it off, Clearview. Uh, they've been scraping data from Facebook, from Instagram, from Clearview. Here's Kashmir Hill's article. This kind of broke the story open, and it's just it's been getting uh, deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, they... <laughs> They claim like, their, their database is 3 billion images scraped from Facebook, YouTube, Venmo, millions of other websites. It is bigger than anything the government has. Isn't this what the LinkedIn decision enables? Yeah, that's yes. interesting, isn't it? Did we talk Be about Be careful of what you wish for. We, did, we, yeah. mentioned, well, we mentioned that oh, last okay. time yeah. in, in re, the New York Times story about this kind of scraping. But there's a lot of scraping going on, and scraping... <laughs> You know, from, as a journalist, scraping can be so good. Yes, as a I journalist, I love scraping. We want those. scraping. Take data, figure out what it means, add it all up. It's good stuff. But well, this is okay. So here's where Jeff, you and I are about to diverge. Oh boy. Yay, scraping! Oh, Yay, no. taking data. Stacy, Stacy, don't we, don't yep, lose this nope. magical moment. <laughs> We're in agreement. Stacey, Yay! Right now in America, we need to say... come together more, not diverge. <laughs> We, we need we to need make to find laws common preventing ground, you from doing crazy things with that data. So right. a good law would be to prevent the police from using widespread non like fishing expeditions Stacey, using facial recognition. We we talked about <laughs> Wait, well, that's, that's, no, that is something that Jeff Jeff is for. Jeff is for... He's Richard pulling an Nancy is, Pelosi. He's I just had to do it for the sake of doing it. I have the paper here ready for this, Stacey. Jeff is for <laughs> things that punish people who do things with I, I I agree, but... But, 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 I, but, but I'm saying the facial... Don't stop... Like, the, here's where we're going to Stopping facial recognition would be good St- here. Stacey's prevents- going to stop police from doing any facial recognition. I'm going to stop them from doing no. bad facial recognition. Right? I'm going to stop them from doing without a warrant. A oh, okay, we agree then. But How do you so get why, a warrant if you're, you're searching? So yeah. discord, Wait a minute. Stacey? If I put a camera up and I'm searching for a, a felon walking down the street, what, are you going to serve, serve a warrant on everybody walking down the street? You're in the public. No, you no, have no. no. The, you don't have a right to privacy. Sitting, I'm, I'm, I, 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 the data is sitting there, but you can't access the data unless you have a warrant to get to it. You can't just and fish in the in the data. That's what Stacey's saying, you, I think, right? Yes, don't you can fish in the data. You need a warrant with a warrant without their permission. So you say it would be okay mm-hmm. to turn like the Metropolitan Police are doing in London to turn on face recognition on the cameras. If you went to a judge and say, "Judge, we expect uh, a criminal to walk through this uh, intersection," or we know one did, you, we weren't trying to find. Okay, him. we're trying to find. You need him. to, yeah. You need to define a time frame. You need to define a locale. And a goal. And you need to get it in, yes, and the goal. And you need to get a judge to say, yeah, that's cool. And so Target. to get a warrant, too, you have to show probable cause. So what you and don't like is the fishing so expedition where you just right. go, let's watch right. everybody going up and down the street and see if we can find anything, you know, get a bad guy. Right. Right. We yeah, agree. Stacey, kind of see? But wait a minute. Doesn't a police Excuse officer me. who's we, standing on the corner do that? Isn't I that? agree. Yes, but, but that, the argument is, is that police officer, she doesn't scale the way yeah. data do. So the, right. the, the oh, wait a minute. Now let me get this straight because I want to get your logic straight. So the crime here is not the act; it's the fact that you scaled. That's the, the fear that people have. Well, fear is the, different the, than the crime. The fear that people have is if you have well, in facial recognition is different than. Are you talking about recognizing someone digitally who's committing a crime? Is well, that no. If a, if a police officer is on a corner. And happens to know maybe maybe she's read the mug book this in the morning and right. well, sure she knows and she's keeping an eye out and she recognizes you walking down the street she said hey you stop right. and arrest you because well, okay, you have if a warrant you're, outstanding if, but warrant but if you're someone who's an outstanding warrant you you are a person of interest you have but she didn't get a warrant they, first she didn't get she a didn't get a warrant search to search warrant. a database you're no right. she's just looking around the street because you're in public so you're a camera public. doing it that's, that's same thing so leo you're trying to get discord here i will agree with you and i do agree with you that the doctrine of what is public is public would stop the stacy doctrine but stacy's been trying to get kind of a temporary until we know what we're doing argument here 
And, and what, I, what I've objected to is this idea that you turn off all facial recognition and don't allow it from police. I think that would be wrong. You put strictures on their use of it. I think that's turn, a you can do that with anything. Police turn do. It I think on that's with a fine better thing. Training, but also uh, limit the power of people that don't necessarily need all of that power. Yeah, you know, there's well, a there's a there's so a, there's a, there's a fine line there. I think because it scales so much, and because our justice system is not exactly just, I think there's a big mm-hmm. and a important interest in saying, let's make police work a little harder and pick crimes that really matter to find these people. Because it could be that, you know, I saw somebody shoplifting or like uh, somebody was shoplifting and I have a good image of them. I might go after that person simply because the image is higher quality. I might go after them because I think that they look like they're not able, capable of defending themselves. So they'd be an easy grab. There's... There's a lot of decisions when you have when you can apply things at scale that you can. So what about what do you think of the Illinois Biometric Information Privacy Act? Facebook uh, this couple of weeks ago got a half billion dollar fine for I was, I was, tagging I liked it. suggestions on Facebook. You know when you when you take a picture of Facebook right. put up this there and then like you could say this looks or... like this is and and in Illinois that is apparently illegal. And right. It's a public place. You're, you know, again, you don't put up things on Facebook to hide them. That would be the worst thing on earth to do. Right, but people take pictures of you without your consent in they private sure places, put them on Facebook, and then they're and then tagged. the person you have a problem with is the one who put the photo up there, not necessarily Facebook, under 230. No, but this doesn't – this – this I, I actually agree with this settlement. I think the way that this is playing out – and I think these are important debates we need to have. You know, I just think we should talk about them as opposed to having Facebook unilaterally decide for us. Uh, but uh, I may have a problem with the person who took the picture and posted and tagged it, but I also have a problem with Facebook that makes it visible and findable in a way that an, hasn't an, been. An before. Okay, but let me give you another I, one, Stacey. I'm not well versed on Facebook, but it, it seems like if you were to tag me in an image, I would get a notification. Should should I have the ability to hit approve or not approve you do. before it goes out? Now you do. At, at, at beginnings, you didn't. Okay. In, but here's in another the early one, days of that Ant. feature. So Ant is on a photo assignment for the, for, for the San Francisco Chronicle. He takes pictures of people in crowds, puts the photos up for all the world to see. We doing as journalists job. would not want anything to Just stop doing that. Just job. Right. Mm-hmm. NBC, though, used to, in their uh, standards and practices binder that they handed out to all of us, Say, I'm sure you studied religiously. I did because I was very <laughs> fascinated by what they wouldn't allow us to do. And they said, uh, you got to get a release for every, even in public, for everybody you show in video. And, oh. and, and by the way, it's butt, though. It, well, that's the funny thing. They said, I said, well, what if his back is turned? I can't. They said, if his mother would recognize him, you have to get a release. Is that because you were entertainment? Not news? No, it's the news division. No, That's even for news, division. like in the video, you can't show videos of people without a release form. When you're They'll blur well, your no, no, face. No, 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 you can. Just very nervous lawyers it's at some legal. companies right. stop you from doing it. But 20, even legal. 20 years ago, this is 20 years ago, um, they didn't want you to do that. That's, That's nervous corporate lawyers. When but I also, yeah. I also think that the, again, we're gonna, I'm going to go back to scale. I think it's a lot more problematic to have facial recognition saying that this photo of someone in this crowd that's stacy and annotating that for everyone to see is very different than someone happening across that photo in the san francisco Chron- chronicle that's different and right. seeing the san francisco it. and i would chronicle also say had that a huge audience one day I, I, I know <laughs> but it doesn't have a global audience and that audience isn't going to have access to that picture for the next so make it the new york years. times or life magazine so new york times or life i would say Still not going to have searchable access to that for the next fifty years. A much if you're larger looking for, audience than any anything on Facebook. It does, but you can't find that by looking for me specifically. Someone well, might happen a, across it. You're into an entirely new area here that the law I don't think addresses. Now you, this is your point that uh, we right. need to discuss and that's, this. That's why but I think we need not, to talk about it. Not there now. Right. And I think there's there's big implications Mm -hmm. of having these searchable over the entire world forever that we like Facebook is taking advantage and lots of companies are taking advantage of the fact that the current 
the current society doesn't really understand the implications. We're just starting to understand the implications of this. But you can never escape. I mean, in some ways, that's like what uh, do not track, but that's a very clumsy way of doing it. Mm -hmm. And I think if we talked about it and figured this out for facial recognition, we have a better chance of crafting rules that would not force us to do something clumsy like do not track. So Illinois is the only state. Or do not search, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, right, Jeff? I think so. Yes. Uh, Texas has a biometric law, too. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I Illinois that... is, is the only law that allows uh, you to sue. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. So uh, that's what this was. This was a class action based on the uh, Illinois uh, law. The that, that release you're talking about from your former NBC days reminds me a lot of the stock photography oh, yeah. sites that pretty much say the same thing yeah, when, you you, should, when you're trying to upload. Prudent. Not legally required, just prudent. Mm -hmm. It's also like a polite it's thing polite. to do. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's I mean, as a as a journalist, I will say that sometimes, you know, you have to say, "Screw it, I'm going to be a rude jerk because I am a journalist and I have a higher, you know, I have a duty, a higher duty, right?" But for normal people and in cases where it's not a public interest, I think you should not be a jerk. No, I agree. Full stop. Is and it, also, what about it, children? What about the children? No, sorry, I'm, I'm like, do we have <laughs> rules? And and I don't know protecting like imagery of. Children? Minors, minors. I don't know. I've only um, seen with well, if you're, I don't think there's rules. If you're in a school, you know, as you said, you don't sign the releases, but that's mm -hmm. because um, that's a different purpose. That's marketing purpose. The school wants to take pictures and put them out there on the website. That is a marketing purpose. Whatever image, if it's marketing, you may not use my image unless you have my permission. Right. That's different from news. This and my daughter back. was this, in the this, news. What a, that's what my my boys' former school did, and that's also again what the stock photography sites will tell you is once you have people that are under eighteen, we urge you to get a form signed um, by their you know guardian or what have you, because this is still marketing material that you're trying to produce for whatever content creator out there with your art. As I wrote in public parts, a uh, book no one bought because it was optimistic. <laughs> Wait, no, I read um, it. Because I gave it to you. Oh, well, that is true. I would have bought it. Didn't I didn't buy just, it. I gave it to you. You said you it to me. stop giving him away, Jeff. That's rule That's one, two, why, three, sir. and four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, it started with a case of a woman's face being on a uh, the side of a flower barrel as an advertisement, and she did not give her permission for that. And so this, this doctrine of privacy starts from a marketing use of the right you have to your image. But that's superseded by the right to report on what's public. And, 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 and that's different. Depends upon the use. It, and it, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is absolutely the case in the United States. You do not have any expectation of privacy in public. Somebody no, can take your all. picture. No, you don't. Yeah. Nope. That's why upskirt photos were like, legal in so many places and oh, still God. the laws well like i do note that it says within legal community legal community standards you can't there are some restrictions on how far you can go with that uh, but anyway that will that may vary per by um jurisdiction yeah